All right, guys, I want to make a video on people who are asking, how do I get a Ford Maverick 2023? If you do not have existing pre-order, your pretty much only choices are to look at the dealerships or find one online. And I'm going to tell you right now, the odds of you paying MSRP are very slim. Most places are still asking you over MSRP. So what you can do is you actually can go to the Ford shop and look for cars. I'd recommend looking for 100 miles away and calling the different dealerships and seeing if they would sell it to you at MSRP. If that is an option, you're probably going to get laughed at. But this is a nice tool. You can kind of look at the uh, area, the models you want. So this tool does exist. It's on the Ford website. Another place that offers the same type of tool would be Car Gurus. You can do the same thing. Put a Ford Maverick. And the thing I like about this site is the dealers are a little more noticeable about what they're asking for. So you see the MSRP of the truck and that's how much they're asking. So this dealership in San Jose is asking over MSRP. The big problem with the Ford website is you don't know that you're going to have to call and spend a lot of time and probably a lot of wasted time calling them. And like I said, they're just be like, they're asking, you know, five ten over MSRP. So if you can call and find a place that isn't is going to be your best bet. The only way you're going to get a car is right now is either a, someone canceled an order. The dealership's going to mark it up or you get extremely lucky and find a dealership that will charge you MSRP. The main reason of why I'm getting this truck and like you guys is it is a good value for the money. I personally don't think it's worth paying extra for the truck for what you get. If you, you know, you must have a situation, you need it now, I get it. Or you just have a lot of money. It's not a big deal. But for most people, I think this truck is a good value at the MSRP. But that is probably the only possible way is you overpaying for it if you want to get one for this year. If you don't currently have a pre-existing order, you're probably going to have to pay a premium if you need to get a truck. You can use these websites to, to look around. You can call as well. But I think it's easier to kind of go in and see. A lot of times these dealers don't update their website. So if you see the MSRP, you can kind of check in. I think it's a little annoying. For example, this is a 23. They don't really post the model or trim which is really annoying. So this is a gasoline type. So this is going to be EcoBoost. So you can kind of tell that's an EcoBoost, but a lot of times they won't fill this information out. This is a hybrid, but you're going to ask yourself like, okay, what trim is this? You know, is this, is this an XL? It's probably an XLT or a base Lariat. So I want to show you just a little trick instead of calling, you know, wasting your time to figure this out. If it's even worth your time, you can actually get the VIN from these websites, copy the VIN number and go into the VIN check. Put the VIN here, hit continue. I don't know why it takes a long time to load this website, but what it does, it will pull the VIN and it will pull information about the vehicle. This is free VIN check. So this doesn't really tell you anything, but if you go, it's uh, cause I'm using stupid edge, but anyways, that's one way to do it. But you can also go the same thing, go to auto trader or cars.com and do a search, you know, put your zip code, do a search. It's pretty easy to do same thing so you want to kind of look this one will show the monthly payment but i kind of like the other one because it shows how much they're asking so you can see if they're asking over msrp or not so like i said the only way you're going to be able to get a 2023 ford maverick is just paying over msrp like no reason in the world that this car is going for forty two thousand dollars. that is pure insanity this would need to be like a 4x4 laureate you can i think this is an xl Another thing that a lot of times they use stock photos, this is actually an XLT because it doesn't have the leather interior and that is way over asking price, which is pretty crazy. But again, these are sought after vehicles. This is a hybrid model. A lot of people want to get it so they can ask a lot of money for it and people might pay it or someone's like, oh, you know, we could give you a deal. We could do it for $40,000, but you're still paying, you know, $6,000 over MSRP. So just be careful on this uh, call around work with the dealers if possible, but like I said, if you haven't already placed your order or you're not waiting, the only way you're going to be able to get this truck is by overpaying. Simple as that. Or waiting for the 2024 orders to open up, which probably won't happen until the end of this year in September. If all goes to plan, just remember in July that the plant is going 24 hours. So they're opening up a third shift. So we'll hopefully getting more trucks built sooner. You know, it's just all hearsay, but I'm hoping, you know, they add 5,000 more employees that's going to get things moving more, but I just wanted to make a video for people asking, how can I get a 2023, uh, Ford Maverick? Like I said, paying over MSRP. That's the only way possible overpaying. But I mean, if you have a lot of time and you're committed, you know, call them up, you know, it's not going to hurt to call up this dealer, one of the Creek. It's not going to hurt to call up this dealer in Concord, you know, same thing. 
call around the Daly City dealership has one. You know, the Santa Rosa dealership has one. Call around, see if they'll sell you the uh, sell it to you at MSRP. See if it's possible. You know, you might have to not get the exact color you want or a model, but there is a chance, you know, of you scoring one MSRP. So it's not going to hurt. It's just going to be how much time and effort you put into it. So yeah, that's how to do it. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.